Hey everyone, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I'm doing my June 2022 bullet journal plan with me. I'm starting out with a flip through of last month and for May I did this tulip theme and I will have that plan with me video linked in the cards and down below if you missed it. As you can see, it looks like I've been filling this in every single day, but honestly I've been going so many days in between and I haven't really wanted to fill out my bullet journal, but more on that a little bit later. For June, I was caught between a peach theme and a s'more theme, but I ended up going with the s'more theme as you can probably tell here because I made two gnomes for the two themes I wanted to do and I liked the s'more one better, so that's how I chose my theme this month. For my supplies, I used some Crayola Super Tips and some Tombow Dual Brush Pens as well as a fine liner as I usually do, and all of that will be linked down below if you are interested. So this is definitely one of my more unique gnomes I've ever done, I think. Right next to my um, space gnome, my astronaut gnome, definitely. Because I usually look for inspiration on Pinterest and whatnot, but I truly could not find a s'more gnome to get any ideas from. I knew immediately that I wanted a s'more on the hat, but I didn't know if it was me or my sister that came up with the fire beard, but it looks pretty dope if I do say so myself. You can't really tell yet because I'm just going over everything I penciled in with a fine liner, but yeah, that beard is about to turn into fire. I also added logs to the bottom of the hat to kind of suggest that if you turn the gnome upside down, it would look like a fire pit. I also had a lot of trouble thinking about what I wanted to do with the gnome hat itself, but I ended up just putting um, dripping chocolate from the top to kind of allude to the fact that it's like a marshmallow with chocolate all over it, you know, like a s'more. <laughs> And then this is my first mistake. I've actually made a mistake on every single spread I did this month. This plan with me was a hot mess. So you can probably tell I'm using the darker brown and there's a lighter brown next to it, like a more chocolatier brown. Yeah, that was supposed to be the brown I was gonna use for the chocolate, but I grabbed the darker one that I was supposed to use for the logs. And I'm really sad about it, but I still think it came out okay. So I didn't wanna change it at all. I did ask my sister who makes my gnomes, my monthly gnomes for my bullet journal every month into stickers and I will have her Redbubble shop linked down below if you want to check them out and get one for yourself. I actually asked her for when she makes this s'mores gnome to change the brown, so make the darker brown the logs and the lighter brown the chocolate. So I think I'm okay with that as long as it's fixed on the sticker, I am totally fine. As you can see, I had a couple issues with this gnome beard because I wanted it to be all blended, so I tried to use my, I think it's an N00 Tombow Dual Brush Pen but it was just not having the effect that I wanted it to have. The Crayola Super Tips were just not blending out. It still looked a little bit streaky, but that's okay. But anyways, if you're new here, we do this every single month where my viewers get to share their gnome name ideas in the comments of this video. In a day or two after this video goes live, I'm going to post a poll of some of the names I love that you've requested in the comments and you will be able to vote on this guy's official name. I had a hard time coming up with what I wanted to do for my cover page, but I ended up settling on doodling the ingredients to make a s'more, which is a graham cracker, a marshmallow, and chocolate. And that may sound obvious to most of you, I know most of my viewers are American, but s'mores are your typical like campfire treat here, and I'm curious if people in other countries make s'mores too, or is this just an American thing? I mean, we probably stole it from another country. I feel like we steal a lot of other people's ideas. Like fish and chips didn't come from here, spaghetti didn't come from here, so I'm wondering if this is an American thing or if other countries eat it too. And here's my next mistake of my setup. Um, one of my lines in my June header, it was just like this tiny line in the end, looked just slightly wonky and then I tried to fix it and then I made the line way too thick and then the too much jean kicked in full swing, made all the lines way too thick, and it just looked awful. And then I had this teeny tiny page of dot grid paper from my Archer and Olive notepad that saved the day, which was awesome. All I had to do was redo my header and then paste it in, and then it was good as new. I think this is the part that really tied the whole thing together. I actually thought about this as I was about to fall asleep. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take some cardstock, do some drips at the top and the bottom, just like on the gnome's hat, and I think it honestly turned out amazing. I think it August 2020 I had an ice cream theme I think that was my ice cream theme and I took some pastel sticky notes and did these drips like in the corners and I also did that in my February 2021 gumball machine theme I just love the extra element of pasting down paper whether it's like ripped up in the corners or actually strategically just cutting out drips like this I think it really just ties the whole spread together
you've been watching my videos for a while, you know this is usually when I usually have my, like my habit trackers and my anxiety tracker, my gratitude log, my two lines a day. I am not doing that this month. Well, okay, I am, but in a completely different setup than I usually do. Like I briefly talked about in the beginning of this video, I really did not want to take out my bullet journal and fill in all my trackers this month. I don't know why. This was pretty much the first time this has ever happened to me and I've been bullet journaling since 2019. But yeah, I was going days without doing it and sometimes I'll do that on the weekend, like if I'm going to my boyfriend's house and I don't bring my bullet journal, I'll just keep track of things on my phone and write it down when I can. And I really did not want to do that again for June, I didn't want to have the same setups when it obviously was not working for me last month. But then I remembered back in November of 2019, I wanted to focus on gratitude in my bullet journal, so I just had the page split in half lengthwise and I had basically basically like four days on a two page spread. And that's where I just wrote, like I basically journaled about my gratitude and then I had these little trackers on the side for my anxiety, my mood when I was still tracking that and all my habits. It was just really nice to have everything in one place and I didn't have to constantly like flip pages and fill out my habit tracker, then go to the next page, then fill out my anxiety tracker, then go to the next page and do my two lines a day and my gratitude. And I was going so many days in between, but then I would just kind of start filling in habits and anxiety and it wasn't on the same day, so I didn't really know if it was actually true to what I was filling out. I just wanted it filled out to be pretty and that's really not what bullet journaling is about. So with this all consolidated into one day, it's okay if I miss a day because I'm not trying to make like a pretty anxiety tracker or anything. And I think that's really going to help me get back into bullet journaling the way I want to be bullet journaling. You can see right here on the top I have a bar that goes 1 to 4 and that's going to be my anxiety for each day. 1 meaning no anxiety at all and 4 meaning a panic attack. My habits are represented with just a letter or a number, so it's make my bed, floss, washing my hair, being productive, reading, walking, leaving work at 4pm, and no snacking. I did do little s'mores icons, but for all the rest of them, I didn't really want to make any more doodles. I just wanted this plan with me to be done, which is really sad to say, but I have a lot to do this May. So all the rest are just these blobs in the color palette that I was using throughout this plan with me. Since I now have all my trackers in one place, I'm now moving on to my last page of this setup, which is my June monthly review. Thankfully, this spread did not change. I still have a place for my memories to write my best memory, highlights from the month, and a Polaroid picture that I just print out from my phone. I have future down at the bottom, which is things I'm excited for and nervous about the month coming. And then on the right side, I have all my favorites, like my favorite movie, TV show, book, song, YouTube channel, something I like to eat, and miscellaneous. And then I have my little gnome at the bottom, and you can see I did not um, pencil in the s'more on top of his hat. That's my other mistake that I made in this video, but that's okay. I didn't even realize till I was done coloring it, so here we are. I also have the hello my name is like I do every single month, and that's where I'm going to be writing the name when you all vote on it. Ugh, I feel like this video is a hot mess, guys. I'm not even looking at my phone. Like, <laughs> I usually type in everything I want to say in my voiceovers, so I don't even know if you can tell that this is a little bit more casual. I'm not really cutting a lot of things out. But I do think this is the fastest I've ever done a voiceover. I think I've only been at this for about an hour and usually it takes me like upwards of three hours to do these voiceovers because I keep like tripping over my words and I have to keep stopping. But yeah, I'm kind of digging the casual vibe and me not really looking at my phone and making sure I'm saying what I want to say. It's just really nice to feel like I'm having a conversation with you all and not like making sure my words are perfect because definitely my words are not perfect all the time. And I think that's a little bit difficult when it comes to YouTube. I don't think people realize how hard it is to actually do a voiceover and how much time and effort goes into it. Like at least for me, I have to think about what I want to say and I type it all into my notes and then I have to read it into my computer and make sure that I'm saying words correctly and I'm not like stopping and that kind of stuff. And it's seriously, it's a lot of work and sometimes I wish I just wasn't doing voiceovers, but I honestly don't really watch videos that don't have voiceovers. Like if it's just music in the background, I get super distracted and then all of a sudden the video's over and I realize I wasn't even paying attention to what's going on. So that's why I feel like I have to do voiceovers for you all. And usually I want to sound like professional and like I know what I'm talking about. And then there's things like this where I've been rambling on about making voiceovers for a very long time and you guys probably don't even care. All of you who've made it to this far in the video, you're the real ones. Comment down below if you've made it through all my rambling and casualness. 
I am so sorry. Or actually, maybe I'm not sorry. Do you like the casualness of this video or would you rather me just talk about what I'm doing if that's like more helpful if you're recreating this theme? Let me know in the comments if you prefer more of a casual voiceover or more of like an explanatory voiceover, if that makes sense. We are now entering the final flip through portion of today's video and I want to encourage you all to comment down below what your June theme is for this year and also any kind of s'mores emoji you can find like a fire or chocolate or whatever you got. Seriously, if you made it to the end of this video, you rock. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Also, don't forget to check out my bullet journal Instagram at Creative Minds Coffee Grinds and my bullet journal TikTok at Creative Mind Coffee Grinds. That's mind without the S. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!